Hey folks, welcome back. Sam and Todd here. Uh, doing a quick little pickup thing. Uh, today was my mom's birthday and I uh, decided to um, get some for myself. Um, no, I decided to um, get us some carryout for dinner and uh, while I was waiting, um, there's GameStop over by there, and I was like, eh, hell, I'll go and check it out, you know, no big deal. I really wasn't expecting to get much at GameStop, but, uh, I go in there, and, and the GameStops around here, at least, uh, probably about, I don't know, at least six months ago, pretty much phased all their, uh, original Xbox stuff out of their stores. Um... But they still had PS2 stuff, and they still had um, GameCube stuff. Uh, but they slowly been pushing the GameCube stuff out, um, and it's about gone. And um, the PS2 is um, still there, but it's shrinking as well. So uh, last gen's disappearing, and you know the next gen will be coming. You know. So anyway, back to the story at hand. I went in there and I was looking real quick. Uh, I found two things. Um, one, I'm amazed at the price I got it for because I'll explain as I show it to you. The other one's just a game, and um, I actually have this game on the Xbox, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, so anyway, I'm in there looking around, and uh, I decided to look at the uh, PlayStation 2 games. Um, there was a couple I was looking for, and they didn't have either one of those. And, I was like, oh well, and I went over to the um, GameCube games and was looking down below, and most of them are in like generic looking uh, cases that just have the name like written on the case, like they're missing the case art, or they're missing the book, or whatever, and um, I'm leafing through them, uh, not really seeing much of anything, and uh, I found this one for three bucks. Like I said, I did have it, but um, it's complete. I picked up... Um, Outlaw Golf for the GameCube, and it was three dollars. But um, originally I played Outlaw Golf two on the PS two. That was the first one I ever played. I thought it was pretty sweet. And um, so when I picked up the Xbox and I saw that they had Outlaw Golf one because they never put one out on the PS two, I went ahead and got Outlaw Golf one on the Xbox, but I didn't buy two. And um, I think the very first time I ever played it, though, I was at a buddy's house, and they had rented it, and they had it on the GameCube, so I think this is the version that I actually played uh, first, so, it was $3, and, like, I don't know if I showed you, but it, it was complete, and um, I was like, I'm going to get it, because it actually was complete, and it was, you know, good price, you know, I don't know how much difference it is, but, um, this is the other thing. So I stood up because I was getting ready to leave because they had them on these lower shelves. Um, and they had some accessories hanging up above. And I stood up and I saw this. And I was like, oh, yeah. And um, I'd been, I thought about getting one of these in the past. And I never did uh, because of the price mainly. Um, but I stood up and I saw the price on this one. I was like, no way. And um, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it. So uh, I picked one of these up. It was $9.99, but I picked up a GameCube uh, Game Boy Player uh, with the startup disc and the instructions and everything um, for $10. And uh, I've seen these in the past at like uh, Flea Mart. I saw a loose one and I saw one on a console, but they didn't have the startup disc. And I didn't know if you could download the startup disc and burn it and whether it'd work or not. And so I always just was like, yeah, I'm only going to buy one if it has a startup disc with it. And um, so anyway, um, I might as well open it while we're sitting here. Um, I decided to um, um, hold off because at Vintage Stock, for this same thing, they want uh, 40 bucks, man. $39.99. And I was like, I know that place can be high sometimes. And I mean, it can. It's, it's a retro store, but they know what they have, so they'll charge you for it, you know. Uh, you're always better off getting a deal at the thrift or pawn shop. Um, in this case, I got a good deal at, at GameStop because uh, they're phasing all of their, uh, you know, uh, GameCube stuff out. But anyway, 
uh, here's the piece. It looks to be in good shape. I'm going to attach it and we'll um, stick something in and uh, we'll see if it's working. Um, I told you in the past I'm not a big fan of uh, handhelds, but I do have a Game Boy Advance and about a half dozen games or so. And um, uh, especially uh, Metroid Fusion and Metroid uh, uh, Zero Mission. And uh, I've played them on the emulator and stuff, but it would be nice to have it on the original hardware. Um, here's the disc and the, the startup disc in the booklet. Um, and so, ten bucks. It was, it was like a quarter of the cost if I was going to get an invented sock. And I almost bought one before um, when I very first uh, picked the GameCube up for forty bucks, and I just got this one for ten. So that was a hell of a deal. Um, anyway, I'm going to hook this up. We'll check it out. We'll see if we can get a little footage and see if it's working. Hey folks, uh, back. Uh, got the uh, Game Boy Advance player hooked up. Uh, we're going to get into our games here. I think we'll get out uh, one of the Metroids and we'll uh, see if it works. Alright folks, so it's working. Um, it's uh, working fine, so... For ten bucks, uh, we got a Game Boy uh, Advance player for the GameCube, which is awesome because uh, I was going to pay more than that for it. So to get one uh, in working condition for ten bucks with the startup disc and stuff was pretty sweet. So anyway, folks, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next video.